You may already know that spreadsheets allow you to enter, calculate, and analyze numerical data, but they can also perform some simple database functions, such as organizing and sorting data. And if you've ever seen a large spreadsheet, you may have wondered how long it took to enter all the information. The good news is, Google Docs offers features to help make inputting large amounts of data easy. Creating a spreadsheet using Google Docs is simple. You can enter your data in a new spreadsheet, of course, but you can also import most spreadsheets created in other applications and begin using them without manually re-entering the data. You have some information about a club that you want to put into a spreadsheet. You need to enter the club member's information, service projects, and meeting coordination details. You'll use Google Spreadsheets to store, update, analyze, and track both the text and numerical data for your club. Every spreadsheet contains a series of columns marked with letters and a series of rows marked with numbers. The intersection of a column and a row is a cell, and the divider under the first row is used to delineate headings. The headings are a good place to start entering data. We want the first column to contain our club members' names, and since the first cell is already selected, we can begin typing. Moving to other cells is easy. You can click in any cell, press any of the arrow keys to move to an adjacent cell, or press the tab key to move the cursor to the cell to the right of the active one. Let's move using the right arrow key. Let's enter our next heading, Address, in this cell. See how easy it is to enter cell data? Whether you're entering text or numerical data, the steps are the same. If you click Next, we'll enter the rest of the data for you. Now let's look at how to add data using Autofill. The Autofill feature reduces the amount of work as well as the possibility of errors because it allows you to copy data from selected cells into other cells in the same row or column. In our case, we need to add a club member to our spreadsheet with the same information as another club member, so we can use Autofill to copy that data. First, we need to select the cells that contain the data we want to copy. Ours begins in cell B12. We need to select cells B12 through I12. Since B12 is selected, we can shift-click in cell I12, which will select all the cells between as well. In Google Docs, you would press the key while you clicked, but in this simulation, we'll press the Shift key for you. Now it's time to indicate where the data we selected will be copied. See the small blue box in the lower right corner of the last cell we selected? In Google Docs, if you place your mouse pointer on it, the pointer changes to a crosshair. Click and drag from there to the cell you'd like to stop your copy. For us, it's row 13, so we'll drag it down just one. Notice how each of the cells we selected has been copied to the row below it. If we had selected numerical data with a pattern, Autofill would have automatically continued the pattern. Think of how much time that would save if you were entering a numerical series. As we've seen, whether manually entering data or using Autofill, creating spreadsheets is easy. And don't forget, you can import spreadsheets you've already created to make changing to Google Docs even easier.